Fallen police officer's cruiser is back in service. Officer Daniel Ellis's cruiser can once again be seen outside the Richmond Police Department. It spent several months there after his death in November. As WKYT Sean Moody shows us, the cruiser has a new look to help Ellis's memory live on. The last time we saw Officer Daniel Ellis's car, it was sitting right there, but it looked a little different. It was covered in flowers, balloons, messages of support from the community. Today, it's back. It's got a new look and a new mission. Richmond Police Major Steve Gregg sees his former colleague every time he looks at this cruiser. We, we want to keep his legacy alive. He was a he was really a great, great police officer and a great person. Now he hopes everyone else will too. Officer Ellis's cruiser sat outside the department for a while after he was killed, and it didn't take long for the community to show their love. Now it's got a new look, all in his honor. That badge number that you saw all over Richmond is on the front. It has a thin blue line and Officer Ellis's signature right across the hood. And as you can see, Officer Daniel Ellis had a fantastic handwriting. And it's not just for display either. That cruiser is heading back into service. Major Gregg said a lot of officers were reluctant to drive the car after Officer Ellis, but they found just the right job for it. The school resource officer will drive it. He's based at the same high school where Ellis's wife, Katie, works as an assistant principal. Every time they see this car at the school, you know, they'll remember that. They'll, they'll remember him and they'll remember, you know, what he stood for. A police said before the cruiser officially goes back into service, it's going to sit right there for a few days for the public to see. In Richmond, Sean Moody, WKYT. Officer Ellis's young son, Luke, also has a, re a replica of his dad's car with the same signature on the hood.